worldwide greetings to my precious little hub knights well, and welcome to another transportation hub commentary special I am your host with the most N to the O to the R to the M to the A to the N and what will we talk about today my beautiful people is about the L train tunnel reconstruction and the alternate service changes while the Canarsie Tunnel reconstruction work is taking place. Okay, as we all know, the Fix and Fortify Sandy work has been completed on the Montague, Greenpoint, 53rd, Cranberry, Joel Edmond, and Clark Street subway, Clark Street subway tubes. The only tubes that left remain to be constructed are the Rutgers tube, are the Rutgers and Canarsie tubes. So last month, the, the Clark Street Tunnel, which carries the two and three, three trains between Clark Street in Brooklyn and Wall Street Manhattan, has been reconstructed. That project has been done on a fairly budget price and on time as well. The start time for the Rutgers reconstruction work, reconstruction tunnel work, is yet to be announced, but we all know that in less than a year from now, the L train sh tunnel shutdown is intimate, and there will be no L train service between 8th Avenue in Manhattan, between Bedford Avenue in Brooklyn, Wilsonburg, Brooklyn, and 8th Avenue in 8th Avenue, 14th Street, and Chelsea, Manhattan. Now, the MTA, the New York City Department of Transportation, are figuring out many, many alternatives to transport L train riders between Manhattan and Brooklyn while, while tunnel reconstruction is going on, which will be going on to 15 months from April 2019 all the way to July 2020. So it's going to be a long 15 months. So, enough talking from me. And let's get this commentary started. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Reconstructing the L train tunnel. Now, as you all know, the L train tunnel, along with the other tunnels, most of them is repaired, and one tunnel is yet to be repaired. And the other one tunnel, about to be start reconstruction pair work less than a year from now, have all been penetrated by 300 gallons of salt water that penetrated the entire tubes, damaging, damaging electrical systems and third rails and pumping houses. So here's how everything's going to go down. With the reconstruction, with the reconstruction, with the reconstruction of the L train tunnel, repair and fire protection system, replacing cable, communication, one hundred, one hundred seventy six thousand feet power, one hundred twenty six thousand feet, installing fourteen thousand four hundred feet of new tracks and fifteen thousand eight hundred feet. Of third rail and repairing 7,110 feet of concrete lining, installing new tunnel lightning system, replace pumping equipment, rebuild two circuit breaker houses, rebuilding a substation, and reconstructing 30,126 feet of concrete duct bank. Now, remember. All of these systems have been damaged to salt water, and salt water and damage and salt water damage caused the systems can cause intergranular corrosion. It's when water penetrates the system and it gets and it starts to get damaged in a certain type of way, and it's very very nasty. That's known as intergranular corrosion. It is highly corrosive. Shoot, I'm sorry. Okay. 
Okay. All train service during tunnel reconstruction, April 2019 to do through July 2020. That's 15 months. Okay. As we all see, as we this is service during the L train tunnel closure. There is absolutely no L train service in Manhattan between and going through the and going through the Canarsie Tunnel into Brooklyn. There's no L train service between Eighth Avenue in Manhattan and Bedford Avenue in Brooklyn. L train service will operate entirely in Brooklyn between Bedford Avenue and Canarsie, between Bedford Avenue in Wilsonburg and Canarsie Rockaway Parkway. We have a lot more alternatives to talk about, so that's about to come. Up, that's about to come on the way very soon. Projected cross river travel paths of L train customers. The service plan. Our modeling assumes 100% of trips will be accommodated by one of the following service options. One of the service options is more like many service options. Because, because whether believe it or not, the L train is known as the first subway line in New York City to have communications based train control operation meaning meaning the line has can operate more trains by the hour that's what that's what CBTC is oh 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 and another thing about this train line is one of the most it is the most it is the most highly used subway line in the transit system by subway more J M and Z train service service how how will this impact the the BMT Jamaica and BMT Myrtle Avenue line service 32% of 32% of L train customers will either take the J and Z trains from Broadway Junction or transfer to the L train transfer to the M train at Myrtle and Wyckoff. 14% capacity increases accommodating an additional 3480 riders. Projected crossover travel paths of L train customers by oh more by subway more G train service and longer trains to and from Long Island City. Okay, as you can see, the G train will be impacted by the service too because of this. Because of this, listen to this and listen to this carefully. For the L train shutdown, the G, the capacity cars of the G train will increase from four cars either to eight cars, which is 600 feet, or up to 10 cars, which is 700 feet. But that's and could possibly have either the R one sixties or the R one thirty two or the R thirty twos running on that train line. Running on that train line. But that's but that's not up to us. That's that's up that's that's up to per discretion of the MTA. So all this whining, more complaining on the forums, saying what the G train will get, blah, blah blah blah. I don't pay any attention to that bull crap because all of those, all those, all those stuff talking about 
what the G chain will get and which which card set will go on which line. All of that is just hearsay and opinions and crap. If anyone has a final say, it's the MTA. End of discussion. This is the MTA's agency and what they say goes. The MTA will always have the final word. No questions asked. Let's move on now. More G train service and longer trains to and from Long Island City. Where's that gonna come from? Where's that gonna come from? Twenty eight percent of L train customers, one hundred seventy six percent capacity increases, accommodating an additional eleven thousand one hundred riders. 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 So as you can see, L train riders can transfer to the G by by using the Lorimer Street Metropolitan Avenue Metropolitan Avenue transfer stop in Rosenberg, Brooklyn, where L train customers once again to Manhattan can either take can either take the Long Island City Queensbound G train and transfer it to the E M and seven at Court Square at Court Square Twenty Third Street to get into Manhattan. To Manhattan. More G train, longer trains to and from downtown Brooklyn. Where's that gonna come from? 7% of L train customers and 121 capacity increase, accommodating an additional 7,620 7, riders. Well, the only G train stop in downtown Brooklyn is the Hoyt and Skimmerhorn streets. Because we all know that the G train is the Brooklyn Queens crosstown route. Well, it's pretty much more of a Brooklyn route because it's mainly all over Brooklyn. Because it mainly travels all through the vast majority neighbors neighborhoods of Brooklyn, and only serves one neighborhood in Queens, and that's two stops along the city. The G train was so much better when it used to operate uh, along Queens Boulevard. On the Queens Boulevard line, just to get you through Woodside, just to get you to Astoria, Woodside, Jackson Heights, Elmhurst, Regal Park, Forest Hills, Briarwood, Hillside Avenue, and 179th Street, Queens. Okay, or maybe customers can take the L train to Walmart Metropolitan and take the Kensington Church Avenue bound G train. To Hoyt and Skimhorn, where they can transfer across the platform at Hoyt and Skimhorn to a Manhattan bound to an ASC train into Manhattan. Because remember, remember this the L train shutdown does not affect Brooklyn and Manhattan, it also affects Queens as well. So, it's three boroughs are affected by the L train shutdown Brooklyn, Queens, and Manhattan. Let's just say someone, let's just say a family or a person who lives near the L train line and wants to get into Manhattan. But they can't take the L train to Manhattan because it's going to terminate at Bedford Avenue and that's still a year for so. And let's just say that they pack up this stuff and they either move to an affordable housing neighborhood complex in either Manhattan or Queens. Or you can move to Queens. Near to a subway line that could take you to Manhattan. Either way it goes, because I can see it happening either way. <sighs> By the subway continuation from the G train line in Queens. Additional E E and E train E and M train services. Eleven percent of L train customers. Eleven percent capacity increases accommodated an additional thirty four hundred eighty riders. An additional seven train service. Fifteen percent of L train customers. Seven percent capacity increase accommodating additional twenty four hundred twenty riders. Okay, as I mentioned in the previous slides. 
previous slides, customers will take will take the L train to one more metropolitan and transfer to a Long Island City Queensbound G train to to Long Island City Court Square where they can transfer to the E to the seven E or M trains into Manhattan. It could happen. It could happen. <laughs> More by subway. Oh, I mentioned this earlier too. Customers from the L train who takes the L train to customer L train customers could take the could take the projected Bedford Avenue bound L train to Lorimer Metropolitan. Where they could transfer to a Kensington Church Avenue bound G train, which the line will have longer train cars. Which the train line will have longer cars in length rather than the traditional short short four cars that you see that you normally see on that line. Which you normally see on that line. You could take it to the only downtown Brooklyn stop the G line serves. That's what is come on. Where across the platform they can transfer it to an AC train in Manhattan. And please note that the C train that the length of the C train cars will go from forty will go from four hundred and eighty feet to six hundred feet. So it's gonna increase by size. Twelve percent transfer from both the G and L train lines, seven percent capacity increase accommodated 2,320 customers. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. <laughs> By subway. Oh, this is the funny one. This is the fun one. 3% of the riders will take the 2, 3, 4, Take the two, three, and my two favorite subway lines, the RT, Lexus, and Avenue lines, and Eastern Parkway Express, four and five train lines. Okay. From BMT to IRT. And this is somewhere in the Brownsville neighborhood vicinity with the higher crime rate. Okay. Okay. Now, the L train customers. Who, let's say, lives in the East New York, Canarsie, and Brownsville areas and want to get to Manhattan? They can take the Manhattan, they can take the L train to Livonia Avenue because here's here's a sitch. Here's a sitch. There will be a free walk-in metro car transfer between the Livonia Avenue L train station. And the Junior Street, and the Junior Street subway station, which is an IRT subway station line, which is served by a three train at all times except late nights. The four train during late nights and some early morning and rush hour trips. And is also served, and limited trips are also served by the two and five trains during rush hours. During both the AM and PM rush hours. So, so, so L train customers will have the access of taking the two, three, four, and five train service into Manhattan. Please keep that in mind. This one is by bus and ferry. Here's a sitch. There will be four interval select bus service routes. Who will benefit from this? Seventeen percent of L seventeen percent of L train customers, eighty buses per hour, accommodating forty two hundred riders. New ferry service which new ferry service service which will accommodate 4% of L train customers, 8 ferries per hour, and accommodating 
accommodate 1,190 riders. Riders, new ferry service. So they'll so during the L train shutdown. Keep this in mind. About my L train riders. Keep this in mind. There'll be four interboro select bus service routes and a new ferry service, which will link service between Manhattan and Brooklyn. Keep that in mind. Oh yes, oh yes, the L train will impact everyone. As you can see in the map, as you can see on the map right here, the L train riders will have major impacts on these following routes. Remember this. It will have impact on the 2, 3, 4, and 5 lines on the IRT new lots and Eastern Parkway lines headed straight up into Manhattan. The IND 8th Avenue, to either to get you to either IRT 7th Avenue RT West or RT East. It will have impact on the ANC lines, which will take you, which you can connect from either Broadway Junction, just between the ANC, AC and the L lines, the ANC together and the L train lines at Broadway Junction. Junction. Yep. Or you could take the JNC, the JZ and L at Broadway Junction as well. The M train line, the M train line at Myrtle and Wyckoff, and the G train line at Metropolitan Lorimer, which could, which you could either take to Queens, which you could either take to Queens, Queens to connect with the E M R seven to Manhattan, or you could take the Kensington, Kensington Church Avenue bound train service to either connect, to either connect with the A and the C, or or. Or in downtown Brooklyn, you can you can connect with the Borough Hall four and five train station, or the Hoy Street two and three train station, as well as as across the platform transfer access to the A and C trains at Hoyt and Skimmer. At Hoyt and Skimmer. Yes, yes, yes. Just remember, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Because this shutdown is way bigger than the G train shutdown, which which transpired four years ago, when the when the Greenpoint Tunnel was shut down for five weeks straight, and shuttle bus service operated between Brooklyn Queens via the Pulaski Bridge, via the Pulaski Bridge, and it is way bigger than four years ago with the R train shutdown, where the Montague Tunnel was shut down for like a good thirteen or fourteen months. For hurricane standing recovery repair work. In summary, 79% of L train riders will take other subway lines. 70% of L train riders will take interborough buses. 4% of L train riders will take the ferry. And 71% L train riders will have no more than 10 minutes additional travel time in an AM peak. Now, peak AM, well, rush hour typically starts from like at least. 5.30 a.m. and it ends at 9.30 or 10 a.m. Or it starts at 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. But the main peak rush hours is 7 to 9. A.m. peak time is seven. Is from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Remember that. <sighs> yep, yep, yep. What else, what else? Oh, yes. As you can see in the map, there will be... There will be a, a free much car out of system link transfer between the G train line and the JM and the JMZ. I'll get to that in the future slides in a short while. Okay, station capacity and transfers. Okay, 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 okay. Widening or adding stairways, reopening entrances, adding reconfiguring turnstiles. Okay. Okay, before and while before the L train shut down, 
rocks our city in less than a year or so. And station improve, station improvements are being done at at these following stations. Broadway Junction, which will connect, which connects the I, which connects the A, C, J, Z, and L lines. The Flushing Avenue line, which connect, which will connect the J, M, and Z lines. The Hugh Street Station. Well, no, no, let me just read this. Let me just read this. The Marcy Avenue, Hugh Street, and Flushing Avenue station lines, and they should have marked this one on the map too. The Lorimer Street Station, which will connect you to the J, M, and Z, which serves the J, M, and Z lines. Wider platforms at Metropolitan Nor Lorimer, but this is on the G train line though. Nassau Avenue should be widened. And the Court Square 23rd Street Station stop. Long Island City Court Square 23rd Street Station stop, Eli Avenue stop. Which connects the E, G, M, and 7 lines. Enough said. Not only station capacity and station improvements are going to be done, but there will be new free transfers at these following stations. Stations between. Okay, okay, you know what? There will be there will be free transfers between the Broadway G train station and between both the Hughes and Lorimer streets. J, M, and Z train stations. Okay. And there will be free out of system transfers between the Junior Street 3 train station and the Livonia Avenue L train station. And in Queens, there will be also free transfer access between the 21st Street G train station and the Hunters Point Avenue. 7 train station. Now, okay, so you must be thinking to yourself, why does it say J, M, and Z for Hughes and Lorimer Street? Because, because to, to better assist and accommodate L train riders, displace L train riders especially, the J and Z trains will, will operate local in both directions between Marcy Avenue between Myrtle Avenue Broadway and Marcy Avenue. So there will be no weekday peak express service between Myrtle, between Myrtle Avenue Broadway and Marcy Avenue. Just like how back with the M, just like how the M train line, the Myrtle Avenue line was shut down due to the reconstruction repairs being done to the Myrtle Avenue viaduct. J and Z trains have to operate local between between Broadway Junction and Marcy Avenue to accommodate the L train to accommodate the M train riders because the M train because the M train was out of reach to the BMT Myrtle Avenue line due to the Myrtle Viaduct reconstruction. So the M train so the M train service operated to and from Broadway Junction and to better accommodate the M train riders. M train riders. The J and Z have to operate local between Broadway Junction and Marcy Avenue. And the reason why, and the reason why, both, and the reason why the Myrtle Avenue, why the Myrtle Viaduct was targeted first return before the L train, because the MTA wants to make sure that the M train line is ready to accommodate majorly displaced L train riders. That is the main reason. Why the M train line, why M train repairs were targeted first before the J and Z line, before the L train tunnel repair work could begin in the following year or so. Keep that in mind. The more you know. Interboro Select Bus Service 80 buses per hour will travel across the Wilsonburg Bridge. Okay, this is why. Okay, not only are we not getting new buses, 
but the only reason why we're getting so much, so many new bus orders, so many new bus orders, is because this is for during the L train shutdown. Because this, because the new bus orders that are currently be de being delivered right now will be used to accommodate travelers across the Wilsonburg Bridge between Manhattan and Brooklyn. This is for the displaced L train riders. 80 buses per hour will travel across the Wilsonburg Bridge. In total, like I mentioned earlier, there will be four interborough SBS routes. And they're all named after the L train. Because you got your L1. L2, L3, L and L4. Okay. We will look at each we will look at each future Interborough SBS route individually, one by one. Okay, L train SBS one service service between Grand Street and First Avenue Fifteenth Street every two and a half minutes during AM peak hours and every three and a half minutes during PM peak hours and this and this service will operate between First Ave between Grand Street and First Avenue Fifteenth Street. Okay, okay, okay. So here's I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read this route from east to west. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. So it'll be right next to the Grand Street L train station. So L train riders, if you're gonna be, if you get, if Grand Street is your stop, and you know that the L train is not going. It's in Manhattan, the last stop on the L train is Bedford Avenue. It's Bedford Avenue. There will be a select bus. There will be a select bus transfer connectivity waiting for you at the Grand Street Station. Go stop around the Grand Street L train station. Go straight along Grand Street. And apparently stop. It will make a it, it will make a stop at the on the G train line, on the G train line. I don't know what stop is that on the G train line. Is that stop is go. It will go straight through Wilsonburg, get on the Wilsonburg Bridge, and make a stop at the Lancy Street exit street, where where transfer is available to the F M J and Z lines. And we'll turn right onto Allen Street, go up First Avenue. First Avenue and drop off people at First Avenue and 15th Street near right near to the First Avenue L train station which will be closed then it will go straight along they will go straight along 15th Street turn left onto Second Avenue stop at Second Avenue 15th Street or 14th Street whatever that is there nearby connect with the Bleecker Street subway station Beaker Street, Barrio Lafayette for the 6 BD F and M, Prince Street R and W, and the Spring Street 6 train line station. Then we'll turn left onto Hudson Street, Street, Hudson Street, left on Allen Street, right on Allen Street, left on the Lancaster Street, and head straight along the Wilsonburg Bridge back into Brooklyn, parallel the J M and Z lines. Guys, guys, I know this commentary is long and tedious, but this is for your own good if you are a writer of the L train line. So please bear with me. Please. I beg of you. Bear with me. Bear with me. Interborough Select Bus Service L2 SBS. Now remember, all, all the four SB, all the four. Future projected interborough SBS routes are named after the L train.
every two and a half minutes. Service between service between Grand Street and Soho. Between Grand Street and Soho. Once again, L2 SBS will connect to will connect with the L train line at Grand Street. Make a stop on the G train line. Go back. Go along the Wilsonburg Bridge into Manhattan. Enter the Lancy Street. Stop at the Delancey Exit Street for the FM Z lines. Turn right along the 6th line. Along the Lexington line. For this, to connect with the Spring Street 6th train line station. Nearby R&W Prince Street station. And the BDF&M 6th Beaker Street. Broadway Lafayette. Broadway Lafayette Street station. Then... Then we'll go straight along Houston Street, left turn on Allen, right turn on Allen, left turn on Delancey Street, and go and head back to Brooklyn. Hello everybody and all my precious hello hub lights around the world. This is your host Norman and once again I would like to remind you guys to thank you for watching part one of the L Train Tunnel Reconstruction Commentary section. But due to the length of the slides I have decided to split the commentary into two part videos. The commentary that I just gave just now is was only part one. Please stay tuned for part two as we talk more about the SBS routes and more and more based on the L train tunnel reconstruction, Hurricane Sandy fix and fortify recovery work. But until then, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the Hub today and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and share the video. Also, click on that bell to be part of the Hub Notification Squad. And don't forget to subscribe to the Transportation Hub today. I, the Hub is also available on Facebook page. Like us on Facebook. Available. Please follow us on Google Plus and Twitter. Now on Instagram, please follow on Instagram because it's lit over there. And also, last but not least, don't forget to read the Transportation Hub blogger. And speaking of the Transportation Hub blogger, I will be doing a blog post based on the L train tunnel reconstruction. So be on the lookout for that. But until then, I love all you guys and I will see all of you guys at the next stop.